There's so many parts of this conversation, and the next part we'll talk about is when someone survives a traumatic event involving a loss of life, it can really lead to feelings of incredible guilt for those who are still left standing. That's called survivor's guilt, and Dr. Mary Gillis learned more about it. Eight people have lost their lives, but many more survived. Right now, they may be experiencing feelings of shock, confusion, and fear. But these feelings will fade in the weeks and months ahead, eventually being replaced with guilt. It's called survivor's guilt, a term used to describe when a person feels they did something wrong by surviving a life-threatening event when others did not. That guilt, that sadness, that ache, those flashbacks reliving that experience, that's when we start to creep in that post-traumatic stress disorder, and that's what we would refer to as survivor's guilt. Survivors often ask themselves questions like, could I have done something different? Could I have stopped this person? Could I have saved someone? The answer to all of those questions is no. But here's what they can do. Surround themselves with friends and family who will listen. Let them express what they need to express. Also let them be quiet. Sometimes silence and calm is gonna be the best thing for them. And then when they are ready to talk or are ready to, sh are ready to share something, validate it. Mental health counselor Vanessa Enos also says it's critical for loved ones to pay attention. If their sleeping habits change or aren't eating as much as they normally would, saying things like, I don't wanna be here anymore, or I wish I had died too. Step in and help them get the professional treatment they need. Dr. Mary Gillis, Wish TV, wishtv.com, and follow us on Facebook. Well, Mary, this is a very big idea to talk about because mm -hmm. so often we focus on those who are gone, which is important, but there are so many people who are left behind with this. Right, yes. I mean, first, God bless those who, who've lost their lives and, and the families involved. Um, but right, there are these survivors, and survivor's guilt, what I learned, was just much more than just a, a temporary type of thing. And it doesn't happen immediately. Mm -hmm. It happens weeks and months ahead. And it's, it's reliving these nightmares, and, and it's post-traumatic stress disorder, in a sense. And these questions that people ask themselves are, could I have done something better? Could I have saved this person? Mm -hmm. Why am I alive? Why me? And that, that's heartbreaking. And it sounds like no one is uh, safe from this. Anyone can feel this way. A anyone, exactly. Anyone can feel feel that. And people take time on. Dif it's a different time frame for everyone. You know that, that some people might get to uh, or experience that sort of fear and shock in the beginning, and then it, weeks later they'll they'll feel this sort of survivor's guilt. Or some it might take be in shock and fear for a much longer time and you don't know how much it, 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 this will last and um, counseling and friends and family and support is a uh, is the best thing that you can do um, turn to absolutely thank you for this this is another tool that we can put in our toolbox of how we can help our loved ones coming up next after the break we're going to see what you all have to say on social media and what you've been talking about so we can keep this conversation going